coders, nerds, and geeks, it's time for Coding Smackdown, the netcast that puts a headlock on the coding lifestyle. Hello devs, this is Jim Lavin with Coding Smackdown TV, and this is the first episode of of an installment on Angular JS end to end testing with Protractor. In this episode, we're going to talk about an introduction to Protractor, discuss what it is, and how to install it. So, what is Protractor? Protractor is an Angular JS end to end testing framework created by the Angular JS team. It was introduced during the Angular JS 1.2 and Beyond presentation back in 2013. It's a new replacement for NG Scenario. So what's different about Protractor compared to NG Scenario? Well, first of all, it's built on Selenium Server and the WebDriver JS library. So it's a JavaScript library, so that which means that we can actually use it in our Grunt build scripts to and we can also use node.js to uh, drive it and run it it has a new syntax when you're writing tests and we'll get into that in, a, in future episodes it allows running tests targeting remote addresses back with using ng scenario you actually had to load up your end to end test on the server that you wanted to test and this no longer requires that. We can actually specify the base URL of the site that we want to test in our config file and we'll get into that in a later episode. We can take advantage of the Selenium grid to run multiple browsers at once so we can actually launch one test and run Chrome, Firefox, Safari, IE all at once if we want to. We can also uh, use Sauce Labs to run remote um, test uh, test nodes against our site and see how it works on mobile devices as well as regular browsers. It has its own runner, so you don't need Karma for it, and you can actually use any testing framework that you prefer, whether it be Jasmine or Mocha. I think there's even a version for Cucumber. So how do we install Protractor? Well, since it is a Node.js um, module, we can actually just use npm and type npm install Protractor into our project and copy it down. If we want to install it globally, we do npm install dash g Protractor. And then the next thing we'd want to do is if we're going to run against a standalone Selenium server and we have the Java runtime installed on our machine, we can actually use a utility that the Protractor library has with it called WebDriver Manager to install the standalone Selenium server um, into our project. And we do that by executing the script node modules, Protractor, bin. WebDriver Manager, and then install, and then dash dash standalone. Now, if you're going to run against Sauce Labs, you don't need to download the standalone server, or if you're going to run against an existing Selenium grid. And just uh, a note: if you're a Windows user, in order to actually install this, you'll have to put uh, you'll have to actually put Node in front of these commands in order to load the Node. In interpreter up and then execute the node package manager or the script. So let's go through a demo and let's install Protractor and we'll do a little hello world by going out and running a, a simple test. Called Codio and the reason I want to do this is just so that you can see that it doesn't take any fancy editors or anything. You can do this in any browser, on a Chrome device, on an iPad. And just to give you a little background around Codio, it's actually, a, like I said, a web-based IDE. It's a full development environment that provides Node and Ruby and PHP. Uh, it has a really nice IDE. 
the only thing it's not going to provide us is uh, the browsers that we're going to need to to use to run Protractor with. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use Phantom JS. So you can either sign up for this, uh, and you can, there are to give you an idea, there is a free for public and open source projects, or you can get unlimited projects and boxes for eight dollars a month if you want private. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I'm going to sign in with my GitHub account, and the first time you do this, it'll ask you to set up a, an account with them, and it just basically takes your name and email so that they can send back to you. And you end up in the new project folder, so I'm going to basically call this Hello World. Actually, we'll call it Hello Protractor. And we're going to make it public. I'm going to select an empty project and go ahead and create it. Now what you see is we basically have uh, nothing in our project, it's just an empty shell. So I'll go over here and we're going to load up terminal and we're going to install Protractor by doing npm install Protractor hit enter and you'll see it's pulling it down so we'll just wait for it to finish pulling down the packages now that it's done with that let's go ahead and let's install phantomjs so we'll do npm install JS. Okay, so it's done installing Phantom JS. Last thing we want to do is we want to pull down the Selenium server. So we're going to do that by executing a script that's in uh, the Protractor bin directory. So we go node underscore modules protractor forward slash bin and it's called web driver manager and we're going to do update and then dash dash stand dash alone. And this is going to pull down the Selenium uh, server jar file as well as the Chrome driver uh, we're not going to use the Chrome driver since we're using Phantom JS, but we do need the Selenium standalone server. So now we actually have all the node modules that we need. And if we look over here, you'll see that we've got our Phantom JS folder and all its files, and Protractor with all its files. And then when we did the install, it brought down the Selenium folder for the uh, standalone server. So we have everything we need here. The next thing we're going to do is we need to create a new folder where we're going to hold our scenarios at. So we'll right click on our project and select new folder and we'll call it scenarios. And click OK. And then we also need our configuration file for Protractor and we'll call this e2e-conf.js and you'll see that it automatically picks it up that it's a JavaScript file and it's going to create us a default JavaScript file with like a little template in it. So we're going to delete that. And we're going to go over to Protractor. And they have a, a nice little example configuration file that we're going to grab. And we're going to use this and modify it with a little bit of information. So we'll copy that. And we'll paste it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this spec to be scenarios and we'll change this to asterisk dot spec or asterisk underscore spec so what this means is that this this is what's called a file glob pattern and it says okay for our specifications that the protractor runner should uh, use it should go to the scenarios folder and find anything any file that ends with underscore spec dot js 
Now the other thing we need to do is we need to tell it that we're going to use Phantom JS instead of Chrome. So if we go over to the Protractor Docs and pull up the browser setup, you'll see down at the bottom they, they talk about using Phantom JS. And so what we have to do is you'll have to have it installed globally or relative to your project. Um, and then we're going to do browser name and we're going to change it to Phantom JS. So we'll go over here and we'll change this to Phantom JS. And then there's one other thing that we need to do. And that is that we have to tell it where the binary is. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy and paste this into our specification. And that's everything that we need to do for our specification now. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll close out both these files. And let's hide our node modules. And let's create our first scenario. So we'll say new file and we'll call it basic underscore spec dot js and then just so you because we're using the Jasmine node options because I like to use Jasmine it's just a preference you can like I said use Mocha or Cucumber we're going to basically set up our spec using jazz, the Jasmine notation. That starts off with the describe statement. And we're going to say, we're going to tell it what we're describing. So this is going to be brew everywhere homepage. And brew everywhere is a little site that we're going to be using throughout these uh, uh, episodes to kind of give you an idea of how to use Protractor and it's a little site that I've been working on. Uh, the other thing that the describe method takes is a function and this is actually what's going to encapsulate all our our specifications for this scenario so to define a specification we use the it method and it takes a string and it says we'll put should have brew every everywhere in the title and then we're going to write a function we need to tell the browser to go out to the website. So we do that with browser.git and we put in the URL and then we need to do an expectation and what we want to do is we want to look we want to get the title so we do expect browser dot get title and expect it to be a certain value so it should be brew everywhere so that's our first test it's we're going to basically have the browser navigate to this URL and then we're going to have it get the title and compare it against this value. And we're expecting it to be uppercase, so we'll do brew everywhere there. Now, we can drop back to the terminal and run all this stuff, but one of the nice things that Codio has is we can actually configure commands. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some run commands in here. And the first one's going to be start selenium server and I want to go ahead and get rid of the node version one we don't need that and that's going to be node node underscore modules protractor bin and then web driver 
Process Manager, Start. So that's, so that's going to actually start the Selenium server on the box. And then we're going to do another command called run This command is going to be node, node underscore modules, protractor, slash bin, protractor. And then we have to actually give it the name of the configuration file, which is e2e-clnf.js. So that will run that. So if we go ahead and we save that and close it out. We're ready to start it, so we'll start the Selenium server, and it'll start up a terminal window and run that. And you'll see that Selenium server's here waiting for us. And then we'll go ahead and we'll launch the run E to E test. You'll see that it's using Protractor EDF. It started it and it finished. One test, one assertion, zero failures. Well, let's go back and let's make it fail, just so you can see that it's actually doing something. We'll make the lowercase everywhere and let's go back over here and if we hit the up arrow key we can actually launch protractor again and have it run through the test and you'll see that it failed it expected brew everywhere to be lowercase b brew everywhere which is a failure so let's go back and let's make that correct again and let's run her again and it should be successful test one test, one assertion, zero failures. So there you go. This is uh, just a little demo and instructions on how to install uh, Protractor and Phantom JS and just basic configuration. And the next module, we'll actually talk about uh, the configuration file.